Today's topic of discussion is antiretroviral drug. Hello and welcome to Pharmacomania. I am Dr. Shahnaz Malik and we are going to discuss antiretroviral drug. Now, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome was first characterized by in 1980s and attributed to human immunodeficiency virus. Usually, virus are RNA is transcribed from DNA. But HIV is single stranded RNA retrovirus. They are retro because DNA is transcribed from RNA. So it is reverse transcription occur and enzyme is used for reverse transcription is reverse transcriptase enzyme. Viral RNA dependent DNA polymerase. So DNA is formed from RNA in HIV virus. So, AIDS are two types, HIV-1 and HIV-2. HIV-1 infection is worldwide when HIV-2 infection occurs in Western Africa and India. Majority of viral infection are self-limiting. But in HIV, whenever infection occurs, it causes continued declining of CD4 T lymphocyte cell and cell mediated immunity collapsed and massive opportunistic infection and malignancies appear and leading to death and AIDS is the end stage of chronic HIV infection. Now structure of HIV virus is basically similar to other viruses except HIV virus having envelope contains surface protein like uh, uh, glycoprotein 120 and glycoprotein 41. So glycoprotein 120 is the knob are attached from to the envelope and uh, between knob or uh, glycoprotein 120 and envelope there is stock. It is glycoprotein 41 and it is antigenic and facilitate viral attachment to CD4 cell of T lymphocyte. Now core genome contain RNA along with three gene GAG, POL and N. So GAG and POL gene code for the formation of reverse transcriptase enzyme, reverse transcriptase integrase and protease enzyme. And N gene is responsible for formation of glycoprotein 120 and glycoprotein 41. Now here is the HIV cycle whenever infection occur virus is attached to CD4 or CCR4 or CCR5 receptor with uh, glycoprotein 120 or glycoprotein 41 and after attachment this membrane of uh, cell as well as envelope are diffuse and viral enter into the host cell and it uncoat. After uncoating, RNA is convert into viral DNA in presence of uh, reverse transcriptase enzyme. Now, viral DNA enter to into the host DNA and in presence of integrase enzyme, it integrates into RNA, RNA and mRNA. Now genomic RNA if further with help of host ribosome it produces uh, protein and protein synthesis occur and uh, maturation of new viron in presence of protease enzyme and protease action occur and after formation of mature viron this viron budding out from the cell and uh, goes for the, toward the new cell to infect. Uh, prime target of viral attachment are helper lymphocyte have CD4 expression on their surface. The surface glycoprotein of virus glycoprotein 120 on the HIV envelope uh, which bind to CD4 and also chemokine core receptor 4 in early stage and in later on it can bind with the chemokine core receptor 5 
and now viral glycoprotein c uh, g41 are fused with a viral envelope and which the with the plasma membrane of t lymphocyte cell after fusion of virus with host cell membrane the virus enter into the target cell after entering into the host cell uh, virus become uncoated and the virus uh, reverse uh, transcriptase with help of reverse transcriptase enzyme uh, dna synthesize from rna and in step 5 the viral dna then enter into the host nucleus and integrate into the host genome by the viral enzyme integrase production producing uh, provirus and this provirus dna is then transcribed into new genome rna new genome rna and mrna uh, later is translated into viral protein by host ribosome and the new virion is as then assembled and undergoes process of maturation a resultant mature virion then bud out from the cell membrane to infect other cell until the immune response is felt here is the various group of the anti retroviral drugs so first is the nucleoside reverse transcriptase enzyme inhibitor non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors protease inhibitor entry inhibitor ccr5 receptor inhibitor and integrase inhibitor these all drug are act on the various stages of the virus cycle so here is the mechanism where drug are acting so first in first entry stage uh, entry inhibitor and ccr5 inhibitor act to inhibit the entry of the virus second is the nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor and non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor it act on the reverse transcriptase enzyme and inhibit the elongation of the uh, viral dna uh, third drug is integrase inhibitor this is the act on the integrase enzyme and inhibit the production of mra mrna and um, rna and uh, last group is the protease inhibitor which uh, inhibit the protease enzyme and in inhibit the maturation of the virus so first group is nucleoside reverse transcriptase enzyme drugs are zotovidin stevudin lemuridin abacavir zelcitabine amtricitabine and detinosin these all are nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor zitovidin stevudin and lemuridin are most important drug from this group so mechanism of uh, nucleoside reverse transcriptase enzyme is after entering into the hiv cell drug converted into active triphosphate form by cellular enzyme kinase now it competitively inhibit reverse transcriptase enzyme so it inhibiting reverse transcriptase enzyme and get incorporated into the growing viral dna and causes termination of chain elongation of viral dna now uh, therapeutic uses of nu uh, nucleoside reverse transcriptase it should be used in combination to avoid resistance and multi drug therapy is needed to counter it a rapid mutation uh, rate of hiv and also minimize the toxicity multi drug therapy like highly active anti retroviral therapy needs synergistic combination of nucleoside reverse transcriptase and protease inhibitor working with different mechanism the combination drug produce sub uh, sequential blocked and viral production at the two different stages so hiv cannot be developed mutation simultaneously at different drug working by two different mechanism now anti retroviral uh, therapy inhibit uh, cellular cell wall as well as mitochondrial dna and as well as various cellular kinase inhibitor resulting in toxicity initially the immune system is not disturbed uh, so uh, toxicity is less but later on infection 
uh, when uh, uh, progress in progress then cellular uh, cell mediated immunity starts to decline so toxicity will be more so all nucleoside reverse transcriptase causes fatal lactic acidosis severe hepatomegaly fatty liver women obese person and alcoholic are more prone to such toxicity prolonged use of no nucleoside reverse transcriptase also lead to such toxicity and it occur it should be if it occur it should be withdrawn the drug now silent feature of individual drugs like azotovidin it is the most important drug from the nucleoside reverse transcriptase group so it is thymidine analog uh, analog it is the first antiretroviral drug uh, which is approved for the treatment of hiv it is pro drug and uh, effective against uh, hiv1 as well as H, uh, hiv2 uh, it is uh, it protect the uninfected cell of the hiv but uh, no effect on hiv infected cell zidovidin is orally effective and well absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract and metabolized by the glucuronyl conjugation and excreted in urine the it crosses placental cell wall blood brain barrier and secreted in milk now adverse effect of zitovidin are like uh, bone marrow suppression anemia neutropenia are common side effect nausea vomiting abdominal discomfort headache and insomnia are commonly seen during initial phase of therapy and on prolonged use uh, they causes uh, hepatotoxicity myopathy with fatigue and lactic acidosis now zitovidin interaction drug interaction between zitovidin and paracetamol both are metabolized by glucuronyl conjugation so paracetamol compete and interfere the glucuronyl conjugation with zitovidin so this lead to rise the concentration of the zitovidin and causes increase the toxicity of zitovidin next group is azol group and zitovidin azol is antifungal drug and it uh, it is enzyme inhibitor which causes inhibit the uh, inhibit metabolism of zitovidin and lead to increased plasma concentration of zitovidin and resulting in toxicity third group is the zitovidin plus stevudin uh, should not be combined together because they compete for intracellular phosphorylation leading to antagonism of one of the drug now uses of zitovidin zitovidin is used in combination with other antiretroviral drug in treatment of hiv infection patient and it is useful in post exposure prophylaxis as well as prevent vertical transmission of hiv now other drugs from nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor group so drugs are lamivudine stevudin zalcitabin tadinosine amtricitabine and abacavir all these group are from nucleoside reverse transcriptase enzyme inhibitor group they are effective orally lamivudin is commonly used as a antiretroviral because it has low toxicity and efficacy amtricitabine is one of the least toxic drug and stevudin and didinosine should not be combined because it has a high risk of peripheral neuropathy pancreatitis and lactic acidosis abacavir can cause hypersensitivity reaction now next group is non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor drugs are nevirapine efavirin uh, delavirid these all are non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors again mechanism of action of non nucleoside reverse transcriptase is drugs are uh, nevirapine delavirid and efavirin are blocking binding directly to the reverse transcriptase enzyme and inhibit their function and do not require intracellular phosphorylation of this drug now here is the mechanism of action of uh, nucleoside nucleoside reverse transcriptase as well as non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors it inhibit reverse transcriptase enzyme and inhibit uh, prolongation of viral dna chain now non nucleoside reverse transcriptase uh, inhibitors are highly active against hiv1 virus but not 
against HIV-2 virus. They directly non-competitively inhibit HIV reverse transcriptase enzyme and there is no cross resistance between nucleoside reverse transcriptase and non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase enzyme inhibitors. They are used in combination with nucleoside reverse transcriptase in treatment of AIDS. Adverse effects are like skin rashes, fever, nausea, pruritus and CNS disturbances like headache, confusion, insomnia, nightmares and amnesia. Now individual drug like uh, nevirapine, it is highly lipid soluble drug and it is most uh, like um, almost uh, completely absorbed from GI tract and uh, freely cross the placental barrier and blood brain barrier. It secretes in the breast milk. Rashes are the frequent side effect of nevirapine. It can cause hepatotoxicity and risk is increased in patient with uh, anti-TB drug like rifampicin. Extensively metabolized in liver and excreted mainly in urine. Efavirenz has a longer duration of action and uh, it can administer once daily. And it is taken empty stomach and serious side effects like headache, dizziness and rashes can occur. Tenofovir uh, is a nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitor. It is available in two prodrug ester form, tenofovir, uh, disoproxyl fumarate and tenofovir, alafinamide. And this prodrug first hydrolyzed hydrolyze in liver and subsequently phospholylated in two. Uh, active tenofovir diphosphate. Now tenofovir inhibit actively reverse transcriptase enzyme and causes termination of elongation of DNA chain after getting incorporated into viral DNA. Tenofovir is used along with other anti-HIV drug in treatment of adult uh, in, uh, in dose of 300 milligram once daily after meal. Oral bioavailability is 25% but increase up to 40% after meal. Plasma of life is 17 hour. It is well tolerated. Side effects are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea and osteomalacia can be observed. And uh, uh, with nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor, hepatomegaly, pancreatitis and lactic acidosis may uh, be carefully watched. Tenofovir increase the plasma level of tetanocyne leading to toxicity and decrease serum concentration of atazana vir. Now next group is protease inhibitors. So sequinavir, endinavir, nelfinavir, fosamprenavir, ritonavir, lopinavir, atazanavir and darunavir. These all are protease inhibitors. Now mechanism of action of protease inhibitor, it act on the protease enzyme. So it inhibit the protease enzyme. So it competitively inhibit viral protease enzyme and prevent cleavage of gag pol polyprotein necessary for viral viron production. In result, production of immature and non-infective viron. Cross resistance is common among protease inhibitors but there is no cross resistance with other reverse transcriptase inhibitors. Uh, protease inhibitor are uh, used orally with reverse transcriptase inhibitor in patient with AIDS. Side effects are nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. They are also produce skeletal muscle wasting, lipodystrophy, insulin resistance and diabetes. Now endinavir. Side effect of indinavir is uh, nephrolithiasis and hyperbilirubinemia. So nephrolithiasis can be overcome by good hydration. And nelfinavir, it is most commonly used uh, protease inhibitor due to low toxicity profile. Food increased bioavailability. Diarrhea is the most important side effect, but it can be resolved after continuation of use of nelfinavir. Ritonavir is enzyme inhibitor. It inhibits CYP3F4 enzyme causes number of drug interactions. It inhibits in both HIV1 as well as HIV2 proteases. Low dose of ritonavir is used in combination with other protease inhibitor to boost up the uh, protease inhibitor regimen. 
रिटोनावेर इनहिबिट मेटाबोलिज्म ऑफ को एडमिनिस्टर्ड प्रोटीज इनहिबिटर्स it given in combination of lopinavir and ritonavir because ritonavir inhibits cyp3a4 uh, enzyme and inhibit metabolism of lopinavir so increase concentration of lopinavir which is effective in hiv so now uh, but it is not given in combination of nalfinavir and ritonavir because nalfinavir is not metabolized by cyp3a4 enzyme and uh, it increases their uh, bioavailability half life frequency of administration and of the co administered protease inhibitor drugs lopinavir and ritonavir combination only pi in fixed dose combination used for the treatment of hiv1 and hiv2 infection it is available in fogem 1 ratio Lopinavir is 400 mg BD and Ritonavir 100 mg BD. It is given twice daily with food. Ritonavir markedly reduces metabolism of lopinavir, resulting in increased concentration of lopinavir. This property has added advantage and increased the half-life of lopinavir. This combination is not only synergistic but exhibit milder side effect than the either alone drug. now entry or fusion inhibitor drug is enfuvirtidine it is uh, prevent fusion of hiv membrane with host cell membrane it block viral entry into the cell it is uh, administered subcutaneously so it was effect is um, uh, reaction at the pain and erythema at the site of the injection it is given as an add on therapy Uh, who are not responding to ongoing antiretroviral therapy and uh, it does not exhibit cross resistance with reverse transcriptase inhibitor or protease inhibitors so here is the mechanism uh, entry inhibitor are in, inhibit the fusion of uh, inhibit the fusion of uh, viral membrane and uh, cell membrane so this is the mechanism of fusion or entry inhibitors now maraviroc maraviroc is chemokine core receptor 5 inhibitor it block binding with ccr5 tropic strain of hiv to host cell it is given orally it is uh, well tolerated and adverse effect are like a cough myalgia arthralgia diarrhea and hepatotoxicity dose adjustment of maraviroc is required according to enzyme inducer or inhibitor drugs of uh, regimen now integrase inhibitor are deltigravir dolutegravir and alvitigravir these are the integrase inhibitor which inhibit integrase enzyme now deltigravir and dolutegravir are inhibit uh integrase enzyme and prevent integration of uh, viral dna with host dna they are effective against hiv1 as well as hiv2 and can be used along with two nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors and uh, as a first line drug for hiv due to their efficacy and it is less frequent doses and better tolerability thank you for watching the video 